Hello everyone in YouTube photography land. Welcome back. This is Carmine from New York City coming to you live with episode 53. Hello folks. Well, since I'm on a roll from yesterday's controversial video on ethics, let's keep rolling with the controversy. As you know, a while back, I am the only YouTube photography channel that had the guts to tell you that the Sunny 16 rule doesn't work for accurate exposures in your film photography or even your digital photography if you don't use the built-in light meter. Well, let's go. Why is it time to retire the Sunny 16 rule? Well, how about this? Film is just too damn expensive to waste it on poor exposures. When the Sunny 16 rule was developed back in the 60s, film was very cheap. It was very inexpensive. It was cheaper than chips, as they say in the UK. Well, how can I back that up? This is the Freestyle Photo Advertisement from July 1984. I found this in my archives. Let's just take a look at the film prices. HP5. You are all familiar with HP5. Well, how about this? 36 exposures, HP5, $1.69. $1.69 from Freestyle Photo. Freestyle Photo is still around, by the way freestylephoto.biz it's one of the main places I get my film from are they sponsoring me? come on, just stop it okay, let's keep going how about a roll of 120 film medium format for your medium format 120 film cameras how much did that cost back in 1984? well, how about 89 cents 89 cents a roll. So, you see where I'm going. With the film prices back then, using Sunny 16, right, was a great idea. Why buy a expensive handheld Sekonic light meter when you could just guess using the Sunny 16 rule? Keeping in mind that Sunny 16 does not take into account backlight being lit from the front side atmospheric conditions okay let's continue this is going to be a big controversy because last night I counted over 700 YouTube videos on the Sunny 16 rule well folks now that film is through the roof we are stop using it. We must stop using it. Let's continue. Today, the average price of a 36 exposure roll of film, black and white, is $7. A roll of color film, if you can find it, because it's out of stock almost everywhere. Now, I do my research. You guys that follow me know. I went to seven different local Walgreens and CVS and Walmart stores to see if they had any film in stock. Well, guess what? Do you know what the stores all carry now? Forget about trying to get a nice low price on 35 millimeter film or forget 120. How about they only carry Fuji Instax instant film? That's a topic for another day, how they have now Fuji has now taken over by some some type of corporate management marketing who knows kickback don't know for sure I'm not saying it's true but just go into any store especially a Walmart and see that you can only buy Fujifilm Instax film let's keep going um Sony 16 was developed back in the day for your camera, right? 
whether it was for your 35 millimeter camera with say a broken light meter right or it didn't come with a light meter it was developed to assist those in taking photographs okay who even though like they would buy a Rolleiflex costing a ton of money but they wouldn't spend a few more dollars in getting a Sekonic handheld light meter that would nearly guarantee an accurate exposure it just blows my mind <sighs> okay now those people in the YouTube photography channel universe they will push sunny 16 down your throat by this little backup clause that they use well you know sunny 16 is not dead on accurate like a Sekonic handheld light meter so we recommend you bracket you know what bracketing means it means let's ruin three frames you bracket at the sunny 16 myth mythological numbers you take another one one frame underexposed and another frame overexposed wow isn't that great so now the average frame on a color negative roll of film on a color negative roll of film is 37 cents a frame this is way before uh, we've sent it out to a lab to get it processed and scanned or even if you've done it you do it yourself it's 37 cents a frame okay now we're going to waste 37 cents on the underexposed 37 cents on the sunny 16 37 cents on the overexposed on to get one shot to get one shot well we have to end this we have to end this madness and i'm going to do it today get if you are a sunny 16 shooter when you go out and you've got your camera now today in here in new york it's february 13th 2022 it's snowing I went out, I photographed, I took out my F4, my Nikon F4, and a 300 millimeter prime, and I went out and I took photographs. I shot two rolls today. I shot a roll of Ilford XP2, that's a C41 development, and I shot a roll of Fujifilm C200. It's a little expired by a year or two, but no big deal. All right. You think I was going to start bracketing oh sunny 16 oh but wait now there's snow on the ground now there's more light coming from the ground up than the sun down oh oh my god what do i do sunny 16 please help stop stop the madness take your camera and take a Sekonic handheld light meter with you so you know i always do my research for you guys and this is up to the minute research this isn't something that I just researched uh, a month, two months, two years ago. Right now, just five minutes ago, February 13th, 2022. How does this sound? How does this sound to you that today on eBay, you can get a working, tested, Sekonic handheld light meter. It's model 86. It's a great, older, handheld accurate light meter how about this 20 bucks including shipping 20 bucks for the Sekonic model 86 handheld light meter which you have to if you go to ebay make sure in the title not hidden somewhere it says tested working this particular one for 20 dollars including shipping comes from a seller with 100 percent credibility feedback how many scores does it does he have 2930 next one okay now that's that's an older type Sekonic handheld light meter it's an older model let's move up the next bracket would be the model l 28c today on ebay working tested Sekonic handheld light meter l 28c how about this? 
Sixty-six dollars. Sixty-six dollars. Working. Tested. Do you know what costs sixty-six dollars? This box of film. This box of Portra 400. Five rolls of film. 120. Costs sixty-six dollars today. So you tell me. Do you want to spend your money on film? Forget about that you can't afford the film. Especially color film. It's out of stock. If you find that people are asking astronomical money for expired film. Expired film. You have to see there's 40, 50 bids on expired color film on eBay. It's ridiculous. So now you're going to buy expired film if you can find it. Or fresh film from a dealer like Freestyle, Photo, Dot Biz. Are they sponsored? Are they sponsor me? No. I buy my film from them with cash. Okay? Stop the madness. Get a light meter today. The day before Valentine's Day, 2022, we end the Sunny 16 rule. We put it to bed. It's not 1960 anymore. Okay? Your camera, your film, and your results... Your art, your photography art deserves better than to guess the exposure. And guess what? Bad exposures for a person just starting out in photography is the number one killer of why they stop the hobby, the, the enjoyment of taking pictures ever again. My pictures all come out. The negatives are basically clear or they're just black. Come on, guys. Stop the madness. Sunny 16 rule is dead officially today, February 13, 2022. You heard it from me. Go get a light meter. Yes, this is the one I use. I graduated to this. Did I start with a, a Sekonic Model 86 or an L280C? Of course. I go back 49 years in photography. Of course, all of those light meters have come through my hands. And as I told you all the time, with photography gear, you buy it. Best price is if you buy it used. You use it, and then you sell it, and you graduate to the next level. If you want to do that, okay? If you just want to jump right in and get the best one, all right? This is the L508 Sekonic, right? Spot meter, all right? I don't even want to tell you what prices they're going for today on eBay. It's ridiculous. Talk about price gouging. Why are they why is all this madness about electronics now being sold on eBay or any place else, even new? Because of the chips, the micro chips, that factory that burnt down has had such a terrible trickle effect on the photography community. It's ridiculous. Why do you think you can't get your Nikon Z9 that you pre-ordered months ago, last year, and you're still waiting? The microchip factory that burnt down, okay? This shortage is going to go on for at least two and a half more years. Here in the United States, they've started making factories, building factories that will make the chips. You know how long it takes to build that factory? Two years to get all the equipment to make a chip. Try and make a computer chip. So, why am I getting so heated? Because with the price of film, no matter what it is, 120 color, 35 millimeter color, or 35 millimeter black and white, the prices are through the roof, and it's time to stop guessing your exposure. You've done everything else correctly. You've learned how to focus, right? You've learned to use your arm, right? Your elbow into your body, right? Make, a, make yourself a tripod. Put your hand in. Use your feet. Steady. Nice stance. You've learned how to focus. You've learned how to take the photograph, not jerk the shutter so it moves, but nice and slow, nice and slow. Let let it be a surprise when you take the picture. 
nice and slow, okay? You know the basics about if you shoot wide open, you're going to get nice background blur, bokeh, right? You know about shutter speeds, okay? That you want to freeze motion, you use a higher shutter speed. One five hundredth of a second. If you want to get some blur like nighttime photographs, you use one second or B bulb. All right, you guys have mastered all of that. You bought great gear. And now you're going to guess the exposure? What are you? You're looking up at the sun? You're looking for a strong shadow? Stop it. Stop it. It's time to wake up and get great exposures every time not every third time when these other photography channels want you to bracket well don't worry about sunny 16 you can always bracket one stop under one stop over and one as the sunny 16 rule tells you to do really with the price of film is some company person called sunny 16 going to come and give you film no Guys, I'm getting heated because finally I made a video devoted to the retirement of Sunny 16. Whew, we did it. We went 16 minutes. Hey, Sunny 16. All right, guys, subscribe. Hit the button. It's right over here. You know where it is, this red button. Give it a nice click. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Come on uh comment below i am getting great comments email me email me any question you want about photography black and white photo at aol.com please go to my online gallery carminetaverna.com check out all my photographs it's part of this learning process it's part of me teaching why because as you look at the photographs It'll tell you what gear was used to give you an idea. Oh, to get that look, I, I have to use a 400 millimeter. Oh, to get that look, I have to use a fisheye lens. All right. Whew. We did it. We did it. We are putting an end. Let me get dramatic. We are getting to finally put Sunny 16 to retirement have a great day guys this has been class number 53 i'll see you soon on class number 54 be good enjoy valentine's day tomorrow and if you don't have anybody guess what treat yourself maybe go buy yourself some film have a great day